Hey everyone, this is Ash and Rima from Mass Effect Odyssey and today we bring you another theory video and this one is regarding the or one of the many concept art images uh, which is in particular one that kind of looks like the Citadel but we know probably isn't and also what and who the Pathfinders are which is a rumour that's been going around a fair amount since the leak came out a while ago and since the trailer came out a couple of weeks ago um so we've kind of had a quick look into it and we'll see what we can present to you so rima if you mm -hmm. want to show us what you know well this is actually a theory brought by the basically the internet and people <laughs> uh we we're not the ones who made out for anything no. we don't take any credit for it we basically found it and we thought we'd share it because we think it's interesting um i think it probably originated somewhere in reddit where the original um, picture of the uh, Pathfinder Archon logo kind of yeah. emerged because we don't actually know which which dev actually like it was apparently leaked by a dev yes but I don't know which dev it was and I can't find it I tried to find the pi dev picture I can't find it and I can't find that picture on Twitter at all anymore um, but someone on Reddit said that they retweeted it or they got it from the dev from the tweet. Yes. So I'm not really sure. I don't know whether that tweet's been deleted or something, but yes. we don't know so, who it was. And this one, uh, this is something you linked me just before uh, we started recording, which was on the yeah. Bioware forums, this one. Yes. Or this is the yeah. person saying that it's come from a dev, but they can't find the link anymore. Yeah. And they say and... to take it with a grain of salt, which is fine. They've said, you know what, this could be it, it might not be it, but it's definitely clear in the picture, and the picture will be on screen at this point, so you'll be able to see it. Yeah, so basically it's so like a jacket or a a jumper or a, even I don't know what it's it is a it's a Bioware I'm going to go with t-shirt yeah because like it's got a sleeve it's got a short it's, sleeve there yeah. it's got Bioware on a sleeve and there's a tag at the top yeah um, and it does uh, and then it does say um, Pathfinder Initiative and then Archon or A-R-K-C-O-N mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom and it's a different logo and logo that we've not really seen in, in Mass Effect so far but it's a very Mass Effect-ish logo to be honest yes um Plus, to us, we have been looking at a lot of Mass Effect logos of late. So, yes. yes, and we'll, uh, this particular sorry to cut you off. Uh, um, it's this particular logo, the thing in the middle and the orange bit, that will connect to something else in a minute. But obviously, yes. we'll give you the meaning of Archon and all that first, and then we'll give you a connection in a minute. So, yeah, sorry, Karen. Right. So basically, this poster on on um, the Bioware forum basically is basically just quoting the one that he found on Reddit. So we're taking it from like, this is like a secondary, secondary source. It's like here safe by now. But um, basically Archon means Arc Contingency or the Alliance Research and Knowledge Covert Operations and Navigation Team. Um, and the, the logo apparently is part of, um, it can be found in the Mass Effect Andromeda website according to them if they check the tab. Um, I didn't see it on the website. Did you see it on the website? I did. Is it really it is, faint? It's, no, what it is, and again, I'll take a still image and I will put it on screen. Um, I'm actually looking at it at the moment. It's not clear. It's kind of greyed out and faded out kind of thing, but it is there. Okay. You can see it. It's uh, where it says in the top left-hand corner, Mass Effect Andromeda, and there's a big play button in the middle, which will bring up the trailer. And then at the bottom, it says, Ooh. be the first to know. You put in your email address and sign up Ooh. and all that stuff. At the top, it says OT. B S E, I think it says, and then oh yeah, it, it is there, yeah. And then the, the logo <laughs> is right next to it. Yeah, it's it faded is. out. It's grey, but it's definitely there. Yeah. So that's the connection we were talking about from that kind of patch on that shirt to now the official Mass Effect website, uh, the, yeah. the official Mass Effect Andromeda website, I should say. So there yeah. is a connection between that picture that came out probably a little while ago now, yeah, to the Mass Effect website, which was only released when the trailer went up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So there is. A connection now so there is possibly it's, some truth to the pathfinder single thing. confirmed single confirmed single that confirmed it, that, at the moment not a double confirmed yeah the, Ar the archon is basically well that logo is going to be in in the game yes. in some effect because they wouldn't have put it on their well they wouldn't put it on their website if it wasn't a part of their exactly their universe yeah, so it's going to be something in some way shape or form we just don't so, know what exactly yet so then this forum post kind of goes into a few things um it then shows this concept art piece that we've had since N7 Day, basically, um, of um, basically it's that, that Citadel-esque looking picture of this like city-like place with like this weird skybox uh, and this tower on the side. Um, 
and people are kind of theorizing that this is actually the arc um, and that this is going to be our hub world in the Andromeda galaxy much like how the Citadel was kind of a, a hub world in the Mass Effect trilogy mm-hmm. and the lead up so that's kind of what the arc theory is um, and the Pathfinders are meant to supposedly be kind of uh, a group of alliance and like a special alliance team that's kind of been sent forward to explore basically exactly what their name means they're basically pathfinders they're being sent out to kind of explore and discover new things um covertly by the alliance so i guess it wouldn't be out of scope that the n7s would be involved in that as well yes. so um so that's basically what archon or the arc theory is um and especially with the new trailer as well so there's a bit in the trailer so should we move on to that as well yeah um so again this is something that we kind of stumbled upon as it were um and if as the character in the trailer is kind of flicking between different planet locations um as he does one of them if you slow it down enough and again i'll slow it down in my editor and i'll take a freeze frame and i'll put it in it does very distinctively say as one of the swipe is one of the swipe screens is going past it does say a r k or arc uh, on the side of one of the screens as it's being swiped past if you see it in normal time you definitely miss it um but yeah if you slow it down it's definitely there and obviously you'll see it on the screen now uh, then yeah. as well so there's another connection between this arc con arc thing and people mm-hmm. are saying that this concept art is essentially, like you're saying, it's a central point for the game now. It always yeah. looking like that way. Obviously yeah. nothing confirmed at this point. No, no, it's um, soft This theory. is pure speculation. Um, but they're saying that this kind of... And you were saying that like, there's that skybox and there's kind of black yeah. above it kind of thing. And there's like space above it. Is it looks right? like... Yeah, well, it looks like it kind of looks like you know, like DS Nine from like Star Trek. Yes. Like yeah. DS Nine with a skybox around it, yeah. and like landscape. Basically, it looks like there is a central like point to it, and it's like a it's basically a space station, with like a skybox around it. So it's meant to simulate some kind of like home world. And you kind of brought up Elysium. Yeah, I thought that the architecture in this concept image was extremely similar if not very close to being the same as what it was in Elysium for anyone who's seen that film that's the Matt Damon film that was directed oh, by Neil Blomkamp <laughs> uh, it wasn't brilliant but I've seen much worse films yes yeah, um, I found it insane purely because of that I thought a lot of things were taken from Mass Effect and Halo um, <laughs> but, um, like the cars for example definitely Mass Effect mm-hmm. um, but yeah but there's like behind the scenes stuff and they talk to the concept artist they brought in to do all the concept art and the look for the ring world and things like that um and he's this artist and i cannot remember his name now uh if i do remember i'll put it on the screen now so you'll see his name and you'll be able to look him up um but yeah he's well known for doing kind of sci-fi kind of architecture and stuff like that he's been known for doing it for years and not just in movies but other stuff as well um and it just reminds me a lot of that kind of ring structure in the elysium film like a lot mm-hmm. um so i'm think, and i i even got to the point where i said to you just before we started recording that i think maybe they've actually brought the same guy on just to do the concept art and stuff for <laughs> this as well it wouldn't surprise me because of how similar it looks but i don't obviously know so yeah they're are small other tidbits in this forum post and there was like small other like bits and stuff on the internet it's mm-hmm. not a lot if you look up trying to look up pathfinders mass effect or archon it doesn't bring mm-hmm. up much um there are two other theories so the the idea that it's called the arc very biblical in the sense that it's like a last resort and many people have suggested that this is basically the pathfinder project was basically the reapers are going to kill everyone send a team out send a team out last ditch attempt and see if we can find like a like last ditch attempt to save humanity and save like the species of the of the milky way basically and the arc is basically take take your best and brightest and go out into the world and see what you can find basically and start anew fresh and that's one of the theories that's kind of going around that, that that's what the arc is yeah it's basically a way to kind of just like start afresh and that would be a maybe a good way to kind of start off the new game to be honest mm-hmm. it would cut ties from the trilogy fairly well um and another one is that the pathfinder archon symbol looks a lot like cerberus 
<laughs> with, with the same colors and to be honest they're kind of the same shape mm. whether they bring servers back or not I don't know they, they killed off the elusive man uh, but I say, no, I don't think that, yeah I don't think that means necessarily they're gone but it's interesting it is, that they but... use the same colors it is quite it, they're very blatant orange white and black, orange, black. Oh, yeah well, wasn't it more yellow white and black in the surface though or was, Pretty it sure it was orange yeah. was oh, it not okay. Okay. Just it remember Miranda actually, yeah. war, and then you can know. I think because there was a lot. Of, I think, yeah, I think that was because there was a lot less orange juice. Though, wasn't there? It was yes, more yeah, it was, with... or it was orange embellishment. Yes. Except, so. as, as I said, just remember what Miranda war, and then you know exactly what the colors of Cerberus were. Oh yes. Oh yes, that ass. Um, but. <laughs> I'm sorry. So those are so, <laughs> those are the two other theories that are kind of floating around. I think the idea that maybe the par- Pathfinders was a last ditch attempt. It's more feasible than Cerberus being linked to it, but ah, uh, conspiracies. Yeah, I think <laughs> the only thing that will kind of detract from this particular theory from sending people out while the Reapers are attacking is that it's been clearly said now that the next game is after the events of yeah. the Reaper. Yeah, so, so, but that's I only think, one think... thing. It doesn't mean that they weren't there and they weren't sent out anyway. No, well, I'm guessing so. what they mean is like they've been sent out, and this is the like the basically what's happened after these people have been like sent out the consequences of these people being sent out so it would be set after the mass effect trilogy but um, it would be like the effect of what happened when these people so like if this arc thing does exist this would obviously prove that it was probably like decades into the into like the into the future so they've already built a home world basically somewhere else yeah and then that would maybe explain some of the tech and why there's N7s and why there's a Mako and things like that. Like maybe they were sent out with all this tech and they were sent out with the best and brightest and then they built their their brand new civilization in the Andromeda galaxy and they're now searching out. Mm. Probably fairly unaware that what's happened in the trilogy at the end. Yeah. So it's like a completely different like storyline. Huh. So it's an interesting thought. So that is Pathfinder and that is Archon according to <laughs> the internet <laughs> yes according to what we find which is essentially everything we find on the internet yes basically so. which is basically like two <laughs> two forum posts that's it um yeah but that is our theory but yes but it's a good thing that there is connections and some form of validity to mm-hmm. it because the logo is very clearly on the new website yeah. so um so we can only wait and see where it shall lead us Will it lead us to the Ark? We don't know. On. <laughs> What's that a convention? <laughs> do you think their new Do you think their new convention is going to be called the Archon? Yeah. Con. And it's going to make. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Archon, Archon. Archon, Archon. I think we're taking this too far. <laughs> yeah, so we stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But uh, but there you go. So yeah, that's our little theory. Obviously, let us know what you think down in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and oh yes we should let you know as well <laughs> for people who did request the indoctrination theory episode uh, recording oh they're gonna get it <laughs> we've done it <laughs> prepare for the longest damn thing you've ever heard <laughs> all right what they was it, for it they're gonna what get did it. it end up as hour, hour and 15 and minutes hour and 20 minutes something like that yeah yeah so I think Prefer maximum an hour read. and a half. May, I might be able to get it down, but I don't have think it going it. on when you're doing your like your. If you're your doing ironing or something, or if you're yeah. doing homework or something like that, have Play it in the background because it's going to be a bit of a listen. So yeah. uh, yes, yeah, so it's about between an hour and hour and a half long because there was a lot to get through on that one. So I uh, guess yeah, so it is recorded, and I just need to figure out what the hell I'm going to put in a video that's an hour and a half long. It might just be one still image the whole way through. <laughs> Because that's a lot of editing otherwise. But yes, so uh, back to what I was saying. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with all things Mass Effect. And help the channel to grow by sharing the video too. And uh, we will both catch you again uh, in the next video, whatever that may be.